anything on my teeth. Thanks so much for joining me back at my channel. My name is Zandali, and today we're doing a little get to know me video. I asked you guys on Instagram what kind of things you'd like to know about me, and these were some of the questions I got, and I'm saving some of the more intense ones for a video at a later time. One of the most asked questions I got was what was my name? I guess not a lot of you know that Zandali is my actual name, and now my name is Zandali Lesky because I recently got married. Some of you asked what my name means. As far as I know, my name does not have a meaning. When I tried to find the meaning, I googled it and I found some crazy things. One was a love poem on Urban Dictionary, which I like to believe someone wrote about me in middle school. The other thing you'll find is a Nicolas Cage movie. It's not the favorite thing about my name, but it's pretty funny when people find out and they ask me about it the next time they see me. The next question I got was if I was named after anyone because my name is so unique. My mom says that it's a combination of three different family names. So her name is Elza B, so you kind of get the Z-A. Um, her twin is Amanda, so you get the Anda. And then my grandma's name is Aletta Lee, and so you got the Lee part, and then you got Zandali. I also got asked if I was a boy, what would my name have been? I decided to include this question because it's very interesting that my mom actually would have named me Davy, except in Afrikaans, which is Davi. And it's funny because I ended up marrying someone whose name is Davy. If I had to change my first name, what would I change it to? I actually would never change my name. I love my name, it's probably my favorite thing about myself and I'm really glad my parents picked something so different because it's always a great conversation starter when meeting new people and I just think it's really unique. If you're following me on Instagram you would know that I am currently obsessed with the Enneagram and so some of you asked what my Enneagram number was. I am a nine which is the peacemaker and the first time I discovered this I listened to a podcast with Science Mike and he was a nine and he's talking about it and I actually almost cried because it's like someone peered into my soul and just knew so much about myself that I, I didn't even know. It was crazy. You guys also asked who takes all of my Instagram pictures and so I'm here to let you know that I'm super lucky that I married an awesome photographer and videographer and I'm so grateful that he helps me out with all of that and you guys will be seeing him in videos coming up soon. The final question for today, that, which is going to include some funny stories, is have you ever fart locked a sibling in a car? Yes, I have. <laughs> a few years ago, my sister and I took a road trip to BC and on the way back, we obviously stopped and we loaded up on fresh fruit. I was snacking on cherries in the car and she was having a nap in the passenger seat and cherries kind of make me gassy. So I farted and I locked the windows and she woke up and she was trying to unroll the windows and she couldn't do it. And she was so mad at me, but it was hilarious and I will never forget that moment. I'd love to get to know you guys more. So if you've ever fart locked a sibling in a car or you know your Enneagram number, comment down below so that we can talk. If you guys have more questions for me, comment down below or DM me on Instagram. I'd be happy to make a part two get to know me video. Let me know if there's anything else you wanna see from me. I'm having so much fun making these and I'd love to do more and make sure that you guys are getting what you want.